And here we go. Boop. It works. All right. So I think I got something to show you. Psych. Now I do. Okay. My marker. Started. Start. I do. Boop. Okay. So this is my green dude, I guess. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's we're probably gonna go with round head. I don't need no devilish horns. We're gonna go with round head chat. Uh, I need you to turn. He won't turn. All right, if I gotta look at your face piece. Okay, he's only got one face piece. Eye tent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, he got different color eyes. All right, we're gonna make his eyes. Luminous Taup. Body type male, body type female. We're going with male, character scale. Big dude, tall dude. Uh, we got one point. This goes up to two meters, 1.92 meters. We'll do 1.87. Body tent. And you guys still can't hear. Hold on. Uh, there's no sound so far. I don't hear anything. So if there is sound, it hasn't played yet. Body tent. Uh, am I blue? Is that the one that TV blue? Close enough, chat. Give the character your name. Wanna. Boy. Confirm. Except, <laughs> la 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 la. All right, we got different regions: USA East, Australia, USA West, and uh, Europe Central. What about Eastern Europe? What about Western Europe? Why you got to be all about Central Europe? What about Central US? Hmm. What about Northern Australia, huh? All right, let's go with this. Start on a tranquil world, start on a hostile world. Well, hmm. Is this the Born of Smurf? Nah, this is Born of Boy. This is Born of Boy. Hey, the boy in chat. Boy. I don't have a boy button. Crap. No North Korea? Nah, they don't allow blue characters in North Korea. What about Northern Canada? I thought this game was banned in Canada. Probably, probably not. Okay, we're going to start on a tranquil world. Um, because I don't want to die just yet. That mouse sensitivity is for someone with no ankles. Settings. Let's go. Uh, control. Oh, that's already at four. What? <sighs> Gotta go down another one. Okay, invert look. Uh, graphics. Full screen off. Thank you. Target minimum FPS. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, I can go Quake. I can go Quake? Oh, <laughs> we'll go 100. See how it is. Uh... They want to just have a stroke. Don't joke like that. That's not funny. Head bob off. Item selection radial display duration. Okay. Item selection radial switching. I, I, I'll probably know what that is in a few minutes. Primary hand is my right hand. Continuous chatting. Show chat log. <gasps> is that voice? That might be voice. I'm going to turn that off. Continuous chatting. Who knows what that is? Let's go to audio. No, they don't have voice options here. Hmm, maybe that's not what I think it is. Maybe it's the text chat. Do 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 do. La 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 la. These are all the settings, chat. If you're curious about that, quality, draw distance, terrain detail, object detail, texture size requires a restart. 
Foliage quality, per pixel lighting, smooth normals, anti-aliasing, depth of field, bloom off, uh, distortion. Uh, I'll leave depth of field on. Sometimes it can be good. Distortion on, uh, texture blending on. Blah, blah, blah. Do we have motion blur? That's all I got to say. I don't see motion blur nowhere. Bloom is off. Hopefully motion blur is off. Otherwise, I'm going to call my local senator. Parental. Okay, this was marketed at kids. Get your mom and dad to sign in in order to change the parental parental settings. Okay. Mom! I want to see the curse words in chat. Can you log in? Okay, honey. Whatever you say. <laughs> I got to confirm my email address with account. That well, I can do this on my phone, I hope. Let me see. Can I confirm here? Confirm. Confirm. Confirm? Confirm! I confirmed. All right, we're good. All right, so let's go back. Okay. I am wasting time, chat. You know what? You guys want to see the settings, right? I know I do. When I go to a game, I want to see the settings. All right, here we go. Uh, looks like you can have multiple characters. I don't know what this limits up to. Uh huh. Hmm. 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 Testing sensitivity is this? Uh huh. Huh. Sprint seems to be shift. There's a dude. I'm a dude. He's a dude. We're all dudes. Hey, what is this? I actually picked those things up and I didn't even know it. Turns a simple totem into a powerful destination tool. Combine with totem to enable landing site selection on the new worlds. Warp augment are destroyed on each use. Well, I don't want to use that yet. Till I talk to Kimosabi here. What's up? Hey. Hey. Press E to open it. Oh, they want, they have, okay, they're making me do it. All right, fine. We did it. Uh, orbit, orbiting around the known worlds, ready for exploration. Look at the world above you. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> There's a world. Um, then hold left click to jettison the warp augment and set your landing site. Warp augments are one shot items destroyed on impact. Press B to view where other citizens have landed. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. There's a dude there. Galepsi Bake, Vibola, Cork 2. There's Shayna. Uh huh. There's Shayna. Okay, and we got colors. We got hybrid, uh, uh, Thanos. What's that? Okay. We got, uh, Zigzay, um, Eevee. Mm -hmm. Eevee. If you look... Okay, I didn't read that. Press B to toggle a beacon plot visibility. Builder mode allows you... Builder mode allows you to view plot outlines to see what areas have or have not been plotted. Okay. So that's where others are built. So can I just go anywhere? Looks like I can go, just go anywhere. Let's go here. I think. Okay, we're going there, chat. Uh, the speedy answer to traveling to known, the known worlds obtained through craft or trade. Warp conduit blocks are used to build warp conduits like those in the sanctum. Man, you're assuming I know a lot of these words. Look at either of the warp conduits and either far in the sanctum and press E to interact with it and activate a warp to the chosen plot view. Are you a warp conduit? I hope so. Okay. Okay. Break blocks to open. Well, how do I... That's mean. Ugh! Why did I get the freaking vomit planet? 
Warps provide a one-way travel solution for reaching places and locations, beacons, friends, and settlements less quickly. Once entered, warps close behind the citizen. Lost or lost in their sticky situation, use the menu to return to the sanctum at any time. I just walk. Well, rip. I'm dead, chat. All right. Press B to toggle beacon plot visibility. Okay, I already did that. Reap the rewards of your effort in the exchange. You can visit the exchange by pressing tab to open the character menu and then select exchange. Loot boxes in my Minecraft. Notch called it. 60 cubits. Some XP. Some other stuff. You now have your first cubits, an in-game currency which you can use in exchange. You will earn cubits every time you level up. Uh, even past level 50, exchange your new cubits for a two-plot wood coffer in the plots tab. There it is. Two plot wood copper. Huh. Strike trees with your totem to release and collect trunks. Use wheel up and wheel down the cycle between equipped items. All right. We're uh, we're Minecraft chat. I guess the first question I have is, is there a third person? Control. Uh, look up, look down, right, look down, front, John, creep. Interact, open inventory, right arm, left arm, toggle view. That's probably it. Let's see that. Yep. I can see the back of my brain. This is not a tree. This is foliage. Apparently, um, there's a kangaroo. You're wild stock. If I strike you, will you strike back? We'll test that another time. We're gonna hit this. I guess you want to call it a tree. Oh. Okay. Let me one of these deals. We're going true voxels, chat. Hello, Ryan J.E. <laughs> uh, we're going voxels. That's kind of weird. You can't see it, but there's a when you when you. Scroll between items. There's a there's a square grid. It's not horizontal, like you used to for an item bar. It's an actual. It's kind of weird. Please tell me I can get a better totem. Cause this feels like I'm punching trees with my piece. Hmm. I just can't get away from voxel games that allow you to punch trees. I just can't get away from voxel games. Yeah. I just can't. Is that a is that a foliage block? What was that? Okay. Dude, it's gonna take me an hour to chop down this tree. Did that thing call me? I thought it said wanna yeah. That is a kangaroo that sounds like a sheep. Who is singing the song of my people? A 
a la da di a di da do a da da ba da ba. So what was this? Ready to craft. Over the inventory, select eat and handicraft recipe instant craft. All right. I don't be bad at your inventory. Give me that, please. I want the thing. Thank you. Handicraft. So what am I supposed to be crafting? Stick, campfire. Twisted wood timber. Uh, what do I need for this? A stick? Any timber. Okay. So let's go for a axe. So that requires a stick. Uh, any timber. So we'll go with the twisted wood timber. And we got ourselves a wood axe. Uh, okay, we do a hammer. In case we want some uh, stone. Stick. I already had four. Uh, oh, I need it for any foliage. Okay, I gotta get some foliage. And four timber. So, two, four. And any foliage. So, how do I foliage? <laughs> Just fall down, that's fine. All right, so E, uh, hammer, hammer, craft. So I now have that. So let's chop down some trees with my newly formed, wait, wait a second. Do I have to put this? I can put the hammer in my right hand, right? Nope. Maybe. Yeah. There you go, Endless. No longer triggered Endless. E. Oh, I does that. Oh, okay. So I could put I could put my axe in my right hand. Oh, we do a wielding chat. Hammer. Put my totem in my left hand. The totem's about to die. Sap? Wait, is there hunger? There's a bar down there that looks a lot like hunger. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to be triggered still unless because you have to hold right click to use your right hand. And left click to use your left. So, we're gonna not do that. We're gonna switch a room. Because I want to use left click. It does have durability. The tool has durability. So, we see that. I don't hear any music. Did that mess something up? Music volume 10. Okay, huh? If there's music, I don't hear it. Otherwise, I'll throw some chip tunes. You know me. Alright. So, we're getting XP for chopping down trees. I see that at the top right. If you guys can see that. You get XP for chopping down trees. So, there is a leveling system in place. Because it is, from what I understand from the synopsis of the game, it's an MMO type game. Um... There are going to be some leveling elements. There's a lot of point of interest on my map. Um, I don't know exactly what they are. Let me. I'm gonna try to dig. See how we do. Let's get a pickaxe and a. Uh, we'll make a pickaxe and a, a shovel. That goes pretty deep. Pickaxe and a shovel. So let's make that uh, inventory. Handicraft. Uh, pickaxe. There is no pickaxe. Great. So we use the shovel for digging. And the hammer for breaking rock. So we don't need a pickaxe. Apparently. So let's make this. Stick. 
couple of those. Uh, any foliage and any timber. So we need to make it some timber. This foliage is going to be annoying. Like, what do I use for this hammer? 75, 300, there we go. Alright, let's make the shovel first. And then we'll make the, uh, that's all three actually. I can make another totem too, just in case that one breaks. Alright, so. If I do E. Okay. It's like the same thing. I and E do the same thing. It's kind of confusing. So what if I put. This is a this is the confusing part. I got a shovel, right? I put that in my left hand. And I put the totem over here. If I hit scroll wheel. It does both. Oh, so it's like a loadout. Okay, I was like, which one is it gonna scroll through? <laughs> okay, so you gotta you gotta pair these. Looks like you gotta pair these. Your left and your right hand, because when you scroll through different configurations, they're gonna be left and right hand configurations. So it's like, it's kind of like a loadout. Uh, wood axe, wood shovel. I could have just scrolled. Um. Oh crap, who's this? How'd you guys find me? Wait a minute. Three and a half seconds of privacy and they found me already, chap. How'd they find me that fast? HK000. Welcome to the stream. Everybody show some love in the chat. Sop. Sop. How you doing, man? Uh, we're going to go with the axe. Wait, which one is the axe? I mean, not the axe, but the shovel. Why does the shovel look like a hammer? That thing on the left is a shovel, by the way. Just suddenly found people. Okay, I can dig a hole. Okay, we see a mineral here. Let's check this out. What is this? Copper seam. Okay. I got copper. Two copper ore. Okay. So we got tools. Uh, campfire. A simple beacon for claiming land. Protects items and furnishings placed within its reach from other citizens and world regeneration. Until the campfire burns out. Non-refuelable. What? Okay, let's make one. <laughs> Until it burns out, but it's non-refuelable. It's a temporary settlement. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Use hammers for rock. Got it. I learned that tip. It's getting a lot of foliage because I keep needing foliage and then I never have it.
Use axes for trees. Axes are best suited for chopping down organic stuff such as wood, trunks, and foliage. That means I'm doing it right. So we're going to learn that tip. And this axe is going to break real soon. I don't know what that is, but I think I need a hammer for it. Uh, basic boulder is what it was. Let's do this. Um, shovel and hammer. Maybe axe and hammer. Looks like I'm gonna need to make, make a uh, wood axe. That guy's about to go. See? Okay. Uh, that's a shovel. It looks so much like an axe. I'm telling you, man. Okay, so what was that? Spine flower. Okay. Spine flower. Okay. So... Verdant grass. Plus nine spine flower. I wonder what that's used for. Alright, let's make a crafting table. Maybe we'll get some more recipes. Campfire. Let's do that. Basic beacon fuel. A sharp burning beacon fuel lasts up to 28 days. So we'll do a campfire first. This area looks okay. We'll just plop right here. Um, so how do we use said campfire? Let's look at this. Uh, do I just put that in my hand? And... Uh, whoa, whoa, stop game. Don't do this. Will you... Oh, it's equipped. Okay, so it's showing me the boundaries. All right, I thought it was a bug or something. I was like, oh, what are you doing game? Okay. Um, not that big. It's a very small plot. So can you just make multiple of these or you're just stuck with this? I wonder. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. So this is mine. There are many like it. Press B to toggle in toggle. Okay. Cool. So that shows the the plot visibility. I guess that's what I saw on the map when I first started. All right, cool. Can I place a block? Can I like build dirt? Yes. Eh. Yes. Okay. All right, we're getting it. Basics. All right, what's next? Um. Can I put my little table here? My little crafting table of life. And uh, we will place you right here. Press E to interact. Beacon plotter. Beacon plotter remover. Uh, ooh, we got stone tools. Good. 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 All right, sedimentary stones probably go to this, right? Any stones. Oh. Whoops. Wait. Did it just update? Okay, I have to. All right, so let's get some stones. With my hammer. So if I hit, if I get lost, I should be able to see this, right? Like, like over here. What if it shows up as a waypoint? 